Hello everyone, I'm Rebecca and as I promised in my previous video today we're going to learn how to remove once for all tea sensitivity. When we have this kind of problem, uh, we advise to use sensodyne toothpaste or mustard oil or sodan water or even fluoride. And the last one I wouldn't recommend. Why? Hmm. I tell you later on in this video. Why you have tea sensitivity? Our teeth are connected very strongly with our skeleton. We can say that they are visible bones, not covered with flesh. That everything what's happening inside uh, to our bones happening to our teeth. And our body, our organism, is a little factory that every day thousands of little processes take place. That through the processes, uh, our body needs minerals and if we don't get the minerals from food the body will take the, uh, the minerals from itself um, example uh, if our heart needs enzyme q10 and believe me our heart always needs enzyme q10 uh, the brain sends signal to uh, our bones to release calcium because heart is more important um, than, than bones and sometimes we uh, make our body to lose calcium how some people eat like four five times a day smaller portions but more often uh, some people uh, snack between meals and some people even have habit of chewing gum those people have um, have wicked teeth why because every time when we start masticate the body has information that the food is coming and the bones must release calcium to help to digest meal. And after the mineralization of our bones, when we take the bones under the microscope, we will see that the consistency of the bones are much more red. Looks, it looks like a net full of holes. And when we eat a uh, sweet or sour or drink hot and cold, uh, the food and the liquid goes uh, to our nerves and trigger the pain. And this causes this sensitivity. What we can do then? Some people say, well, the best source to get calcium is uh, milk. Yeah, I would agree if the milk uh, is natural uh, from cow, not pasteurized or homogenized. Uh, the product that we buy in supermarket uh, should be called milk-like product. Why? Because chemical structure of milk from cow and milk from supermarket is completely different. Uh, a milk from cow has 200 enzymes and protein that are bonded with each other. And when we pasteurize, even to 70 degrees, if we pasteurize milk, the um, uh, the connection breaks. I don't even mention about about bacteria that is killed. Bacteria that we needed in our digestion system. When we homogenize milk, it's like completely destroyed the molecule of milk. Example: uh, If we have a brick and we make it powder from the brick, it's not a brick anymore. We cannot do anything with this. It's exactly the same with this kind of milk. That's why so many people drink milk and develop many problems and they don't even connect these problems with drinking milk. Um, but our bones not only are built from calcium, our bones are built from 12 different minerals and few trade minerals, like for example iodine, and all of those minerals we needed. There is something else that we need. It's collagen. Collagen is like a net when the minerals stick around and build beautiful, strong teeth. And you remember I told you that I wouldn't recommend a fluoride? Uh, I wouldn't because fluoride kills, actually destroys collagen. What collagen gives us? What collagen gives to our teeth? Go, gives flexibility, amortization. When we bite, our teeth doesn't 
uh, our teeth don't break. And this is really important. And some, sometimes when we go to the dentist and the dentist offer uh, Jurafat is fluoride or Fisher Silver is fluoride and say, well, your teeth are going to be strong. It's not going to be, they're not going to be strong. They're going to be hard. What is the difference? Strong means the teeth have flexibility. Hard, it means that the teeth became like glass. They are hard, but when you hit, will break. And with time, sometimes we can see the little, little patches, white patches on the teeth. And the dentists say, well, it's dental uh, fluorosis. It's not dental. Everything what happening here, happening uh, in our system. It means that the fluorosis is everywhere. And with time, when we grow older, there's big possibility that the bones start, start crumble. The same our teeth. But as you see, I just really, really encourage you to do your own research and uh, to find out more about the subject. As I said, uh, our teeth are built from different minerals. We have to find source of those minerals and then the, the mineral, natural source, and then all the minerals are going to be absorbed by our bones. I know two sources uh, that we can use. If you know more, please share with us. Uh, I love to learn. Uh, the first is expensive, but is good. The second is cheap and is better. The first is a pearl oil. A uh, pearl oil, if we just take a one flat teaspoon every day, we will rebuild our teeth. And the second is eggshell. We can do exactly the same. Oh, I can see the faces. Oh, it's disgusting because my friend is said that this is disgusting. They will never, ever, ever do it. I eat the eggshell after breakfast like a dessert, as a dessert. Um, but if you cannot do this, you can make powder from the eggshell, add a little bit water and drink it after breakfast. Uh, not a lot of water because we shouldn't really drink after meal or during the meal but just a little bit to give the shot uh, to our body. We can do it every day, one eggshell for a month and after two, three weeks you will see the difference in your teeth. It's not only the sensitivity will, uh, will be gone but the possibility to develop caries will drop to zero. Uh, I really encourage you to do like one month treatment and one month break. One month treatment and one month break. Well, I hope you're going to use this advice and you're going to benefit from the advice. It's not really difficult. Um, and actually we can really help ourselves uh, without going to the dentist. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe and give, you, give me your thumb up and have a great day.